But um, it's great to be interviewing you. Yeah. And thank you so much for coming. You just That's dropped cool. the tapes. So I felt it's only right for you to come through, talk yeah, yeah. about your mixtape, talk about your music, and talk come about on. the future, man. Come on, let's get it, man. I'm happy. So you start your mixtape with E9, right? Welcome yeah. to E9. So yeah. I thought it's only right to start talking about your upbringing and oh, yeah, yeah, your yeah, past. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like for you growing up in E9, mm. it's kind of a blessing and a curse. It's mm. a blessing because you've come up with so many of your friends, obviously yeah, yeah. 98, yeah, yeah. wrapped together, built up a great relationship, yeah, but yeah. it's kind of a curse because it may have came with distractions and mm. whatnot. 100, 100, 100. Growing up in e- E9, how has that affected the, the man you are today? Like, you know, what it is, it's because that, like, you see when you like when you grow up, like I grew up with a man in a minute, so yeah. obviously we've been through a lot together, you know what I'm saying? Like, like good things, bad things, we've been through it all, innit? So it's like... Yeah, so at the same time, man, it did like grow. It did like actually make me the man I am now, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, that's why I had to like mention it first. You get me like, welcome to E9. That was like the introduction. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like, that's life, where man. I started, innit? Of where should I start? I started in E9 realistically, innit? So that's why I made that the first track. Yeah, like, yeah. Welcome to E9. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? So, yeah. And with the traits you have today, mm. if you didn't grow, grow up in E9, if you grew up in like the suburbs or maybe like a posher <laughs> area, yeah. maybe you're good at maths, maybe you're fast, maybe you're good at footy. What yeah. do you think? Where do you think life would have taken you if you didn't grow up in E9? I, f- I feel like I would have been more on a footy thing, you know? Footy thing, yeah. Yeah, because I was always banging ball. Like, you know, when you bang ball for your teams, you bang ball for like boroughs and you bang ball for um, like football teams in the borough and all of that. Yeah, so I was, yeah. I was building in it, but obviously I stopped playing football from like a young age, innit? Like, maybe okay. like 16 or something. Knee injury or? No, not even no injury. Mm-hmm. But you know, you just other things were going on in it, so I just slightly like fell off the football, if you get what I'm saying. Like, yeah, when I don't once. And then you started making music, and mm. you've kind of grown with the Joe Collective 98s, yeah, yeah, bangers yeah. such as We the Ones, even dropped the project together. Mm, 100. Can you do? You, can you share some like early insights as to how you guys met up? Do you have any stories? Did you go to school together, or like how yeah. did that start? Yeah, with the 98s, like yeah, we actually like we grew up together like properly in it, if you get what I'm saying. So we all knew each other, car. It's either you went to one of the schools, like one of the base schools, if mm. you get what I'm saying, that were in Hackney and that was in like the area which was like certain schools. So it's like from young we always like been around each other, like we might be playing for the same football team, we might be linking up at parties, so we always knew each other from young. So at the end of the day it's just like we've stayed close, if you get what I'm saying, as we grew older. So it's of like course. they're more brothers than friends, if you get what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah sort of thing yeah so and it was always blessed from the start you just knew you were going to be brothers or was there but a drama or was it just straight <laughs> yeah like one two headaches and one, all two the headaches. Boom, yeah, yeah, boom, it's gonna happen, man. yeah naturally in it of course but, isn't it? but you know like as you grow older you start really start valuing each other more and if you get course, what i'm saying yeah, yeah. so at the same time we're all trying to help each other and that's what yeah. really actually brought the mm-hmm. 98s if you get what i'm saying like yo let's all do this of course do this music thing you know, and just do it together sort of thing okay and mm. you're also part of the collective's groundworks right would mm. you say they're the most influential drill group of our time? What, um, Groundworks? Groundworks, yeah. Yeah, I can't lie. Groundworks done, like, things that a lot of people couldn't do, if you get what I'm saying, like, yeah. in, a, in a small space of time as well, mm-hmm. innit? So, yeah, they done their thing. And Groundworks, they... Cypher, what a time to be alive, man. <laughs> yeah. What's it like being in that room with them rappers just barring out? It kind of gives me, like, old school gram set days. It's lit, you know? I can't mm. lie, because it's like, you don't know what a man's going to come with. A man might come and drop some crazy verse, and you're thinking, yo, let me just... Get me switch yeah, out the verse yeah, and drop yeah, this yeah, thing yeah. so it's like yeah like, it's proper lit in it at the same mm-hmm. time so it was proper laugh i'd say it was fun in it you get what i'm yeah. saying like it's like everyone's just going in everyone's saying yo let me get a mic yeah. da, 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 drop in their thing next man's grabbing a mic mm-hmm. if you know what i'm saying so yeah how was it being a part of that collective that has the artists such as diggity put a paper millions mm-hmm. is it competitive or did they influence you to be, become a better rapper did yeah. it help you grow how was it it was motivational wasn't it because it's like cool like there's you see when you see like there's obviously people around you that are doing doing big things and that, that obviously motivates you and you also think to yourself like yo man can do that as well so let me build myself so man can get to that level in it gradually 100%. you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah it makes sense you know what i'm saying nothing happens overnight in it so you've got to build yourself at the same time in it so, all right bless man yeah. we're gonna play the intro to the new project this one is welcome to e9 make sure you come right back after this one Jimmy, with welcome to E9, I'm playing right now for you on Represent Radio, and I got Jimmy right in front of me, man. You just dropped your project, your yeah, second yeah. project. Where shall I start? Yeah, yeah. Why the name? It's just like you know, I've got so much to say. It's like where should I even start? Yeah, like that's literally that's it. Like, yeah. It speaks for itself. Like you know, like like where like there's so much things have happened. It's like where should I start? Yeah, sort of things like a chapter in a book or something. If you know what I'm saying. One thing I do rate about this project is mm. that you've got variety, you've got the real rap stuff where you're talking about some deep, 
mm. live personal stuff. You've got Come the on. jelly stuff. Come on. You've even got a girl tune on there yeah, as well. Yeah, I've got a little female song on yeah. there as well. Still. Would you notice? Do you say there's a lot of progress between you now yeah. and your last project, Risk All, back in 2022? Yeah, yeah, man, definitely. Like you know, the progress I would say is like growth. Like you know, what I'm growth, saying like, yeah. I've seen a lot of growth from from then till now. If you get what I'm saying, like yeah, within yeah. that space of two years, it's like. Mm-hmm. Like I've matured more, I've like grown more, like you know, I've got more intelligent. If you get what I'm saying, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Get me, so yeah. And as mentioned, you do rap about some deep stuff. Mm. What do you want the people to take from the album once they or the mix it once they fully listen? Like li- literally to show, like this was to show everybody that yo, I'm serious. A man's coming for it, innit? Yeah, yeah. Like, Speaking of deep, once again, you've just mm. dropped the Daily Duppy on yeah, Sunday. Yeah. You yeah, talk yeah. about having a daughter. Yeah, yeah. Would you say that's also influenced your musical career? Maybe motivated you to make more tunes, get in the studio, yeah. and if so, how? Like you know, like that. Like, you see, once you have like a child, it's mad because it motivates you to be like a better person as well. If you get what I'm yeah, saying, yeah. Like, it makes you be better at everything you want to do. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, that was definitely a blessing as well, and it just it wakes you up, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So. And there's a constant theme of rappers getting a couple mixtapes deep into their careers, and maybe mm. they drop the mask and go, yeah. like they just go bait face. Is that something that you're looking mm. to do in the I near could, future? I could be, you never know, mm. man. You know what I'm saying? Is there a reason why you wanted to be incognito? Maybe you want more peace, or you just wanted to stay away from it? Like, like bro, I'm about in it, so it's just like I, like, I like being private. You get me? I don't want to be like seen and known everywhere I go, if you get what I'm saying. Of Sometimes course, yeah. you need peace, you get me? So mm-hmm. it's like, if you know who I am, you know who I am. A lot of people know who I am already. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, but mm-hmm. it's like for everybody out there, like the general population, it's like I'd rather just boom, course, cover yeah, up yeah. and that. And Buta B put out a statement recently that the reason why UK rap right now is so stagnant is because the producers are slacking. <laughs> is that something that you agree with? Oh uh, no, man. You know what? There's too many producers out here to like. You know what I'm saying? To say um, that is because of the producers. If you get what I'm saying, I yeah. feel like. It's probably just everything in general, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They're like bare man again, Joe. Like there's bare like new rappers that are just sounding like everybody else, if you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So it's like we've got to blame everyone really. <laughs> Let's talk on that for a second right mm. now because you've been Joe in the past mm. and there's a lot of rappers in Joe right now. Yeah. Do you think that's what's holding UK Joe back right now? Hundred percent. There's too many men in Joe. Too many men. Yeah, and all the men that are going Joe. All the men that are in jail, we're popping, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, So it's yeah, like, now they're in jail, it's like, especially when people know you're in jail and you're still dropping music here and there, everybody knows you're in jail. So it's not the same, It's not it? the same, if you get what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, so I feel like, bro, if everybody was out and that, because when everybody was out, like, let's say about two years ago or something, three years ago, drill was in its prime from, you know Of course, I mean? yeah, so, yeah. Do you think you're going to continue to make more UK drill? You're going to go into other avenues, maybe Afro beats, maybe more rap, maybe a little bit more yeah, girl got, tunes. I've got one, two Afro things in the locker. Say like, well. Yeah, say so. So I feel like I want to do a bit of everything, in it. Like, mm-hmm. like with the drill thing, if I'm doing drill, it's going to be like, not just standard drill, it's going to be my sort of, my sort of style, my yeah, bit of flavour yeah. on it, you get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I feel like I can like, Dip my hands in all pies and that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So. With the Afro thing, any features, any Afro B artists on the hook? So. Yeah, I got one, two, two, I would keep that one quiet. Say a word, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say it's going to pop up still, it's going to pop up. You're going to see it, man. This year, I got I got big things coming still, no lie. Say no more. Yeah. You got a tune called In and Out, produced mm. by Chase and Status. How yeah. did that one come about? You know what? Yeah, that is just like. We just ended up linking up. Like, he's. Like, we've reached out to each other, sort of thing, and then boom, we got in the studio. Got in the studio the first time, made one song, and then we said, Yo, listen, boom, 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 we need to get back in there, car. Then, man, they are busy, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. we got back in the studio, mm-hmm. made another song, and then both of them just ended up saying, yeah. On the taping, I just said, Yeah, you know what, both of these are getting put on there. So, take, more, yeah. All right, playing right now for you, Jimmy, in and out. Mm. Just play. That was Jimmy with In and Out, produced by. Chase and status, you're listening to Risco, man. Right here, man. Every bi weekly on a Thursday, 7 to 9 pm. And I just got a couple more questions for Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. You seem to rep East London a lot. Yeah, yeah. Do you think East London comes out with the best rappers? Yeah. Yeah. Out of South London, West London, North London, North West London, East London's got the best rappers. I feel like East London's more rappers. Mm. Like rappers, rappers, if rappers, you know what I'm rappers. saying, then like. You know, there's bare draw about it and that. Like, I swear down, bare draw artists can't even rap that, like, if you get what I'm saying. So yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. that's why I'd probably say, yeah. Mm. Like, because my niggas, like, people can rap in it. Yeah, of course. In the East, so. Name your, name your top three um, East. East London rappers, yeah. 
top three East London rappers mm. on what well, as rapping, rapping, yeah. Yeah, past, present, future, anything. Cool. Um, not including me. Not including me. Uh, you can put cool. yourself in there. If I'll you put. Want. I'll put. I'll put Potter. Mm. Potter. Kemzy. Okay. Al Chibino. Okay. Yeah. Kemzy, Red Sider. Mm. I had him on a show a couple of months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like yeah. proper, real, real rapper. On rap. a rapping thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's my free store. Mm-hmm. And if you could create an Avengers, an East London Avengers, in terms of like <laughs> a group with all different kind of sounds, is that who you'd, you'd put in the group, including yourself? And that would be the 98s. 98s yeah. Avengers, yeah? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That would be strictly the man, and the man who can fe- feature with each other. Of course. Because everyone's got like different rap skills yeah, and yeah. da 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 boom, boom, boom. So Plus, I'll, yeah. that's my team, innit? Yeah, yeah. Plus Billy Billion's got the yeah. singing as well. You know well. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, got really. unknown TV. Now everybody, everybody's got their own little talent still, yeah. so. Okay, okay. Yeah. Jimmy, thank you so much for coming through today, man. Is there anything you want to tell the listener? Anything you're yeah. coming up? Any features, any new music, yes. deluxe? So boom, I've got my project out now. Where should I start? That has literally been out for like a week and a bit. Go around that up. I've got some merch there as well. That is all, and that's a collaboration with Gabos. And that's all on the Instagram. Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, it's all the same thing, which is only nine Jimmy with the number nine. Mm. So yeah, go check that out. Go pre everything. Grand Daily's out now, trending. Go around that up, man. You get me? Okay, say no more, man. Jimmy, thank you so much for coming through. This is Jimmy yeah. and Potty Paper, Potter Paper with Regina.